Hi guys, my name is Martin and behind the camera is Miss. We are made in Fulham. Today we are going to show you this fantastic restaurant. It's Sands Riverside. It's a fantastic location. It's close to Fulham, Putney, Bound, Hammersmith and has a nice view of Hammersmith Bridge. We're going to meet Sam, the owner of Sam's Riverside. He's going to explain everything we need to know about this fantastic place. You can have very nice food, dinner, lunch, drinks, cocktail, with a very nice view on the Thames. Come on, let's go. It's such an amazing space. It has these stunning views. Every table has a view. Yes, we're in Hammersmith, but we're right next to Fulham. We're right next to Barnes. We're right next to Brook Green. We're right next to um, Chiswick. And I think it's just an, it's a nice meeting spot. I've always loved this stretch of the river. Um, I think it's, it's a very sort of beautiful part of London. Uh, and, the, and the river obviously is focal to London. Uh, and was very focal to me when I was growing up. We, we spent a lot of time as children playing in Bishop's Park and um, running up and down the river, I guess. Uh, and then Riverside Studios was somewhere that my parents used to come to the cinema, to the theatre. Yeah, all of those reasons, it, it, it still feels like home to me. I've lived in Fulham nearly all of my life. Um, I, was, I was born in Wimbledon and then uh, as a child and growing up, we, we always lived in Fulham. Since I was about 16, I had a godmother who I was very close to. She had a, um, a catering business and um, I used to work for her at weekends and in the holidays. Uh, and I sort of fell in love with the, um, the madness, the craziness of working as a team. Uh, and then when I was at university, um, I worked in a restaurant to pay, to pay my bills and I, was very, I worked in a very busy, buzzy restaurant in Oxford uh, and I just, I fell in love with it. I had uh, just as much fun working in the restaurant as I did going out as a student. I found it wasn't really work for me, it was just fun. Uh, and I made good money as a waiter and um, I just, yeah, I, I, I knew there wasn't, that was the only thing I wanted to do, really. I then had a restaurant in Chiswick for 10 years, so I was always still based in West London. A restaurant to me is, 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 a, is a family, and everybody has a role to play. My wonderful barman, Ivan, has worked off and on you know, for 15, 17 years, so we have this amazing history um, here, you know, I have Harvey, my head chef, who's responsible for the kitchen. We have Alicia, my general manager, who's responsible for the front of house, the building. But, but we're, we all do it together. I find that very rewarding, that you work together and you have good days together, you have bad days together. It means you become very close. So the food is of huge importance and I'm very proud of the food we serve. Um, Harvey, my head chef, and I are very passionate about British produce, seasonality. Uh, we both particularly love shellfish and seafood. Uh, I worked for Rick Stein in Cornwall for four years, so I have a real passion that we are an island and you're never that far from the sea, but we still don't eat enough seafood, really. Uh, so I love shellfish, oysters, uh, I love simple, beautiful fish. I think Harvey and I both think if you buy the best ingredients, if you respect those ingredients, you don't actually have to do much with them. Our, our food is quite simple, but hopefully it's about great flavors um, and beautiful ingredients. And to me, you know, with the sun pouring in the window and enjoying oysters and a glass of wine, um, 
is kind of everything that I wanted the restaurant to be. It's a sort of celebration of, um, of great food and, and, and life. At the moment on the menu, we have a, a lobster roll, which to me is just heaven. It's native lobster. It's, it's in a brioche bun. It's a bit naughty. It's a bit messy. Um, it's, and it's fun. So I, I, I want our food to be fun uh, and, yeah, a, a celebration, really. Harvey Trollope is our head chef. Um, uh, and wh what I love about Harvey and his food is he, he has a very classical background. He trained in many great restaurants in France, great restaurants in Italy. So he, he learned the classic basics of cooking. And he worked for Marco Pierre White. Uh, he worked at the Ritz. Uh, hotel under John Williams, who's one of the great British chefs. So he took all those skills that he'd learnt in France and Italy, in Italy and then transformed them using British produce. Harvey wants every dish to be perfect, but, but he's so passionate about the produce, uh, respecting animals, uh, working with small uh, little suppliers, producers, you know, one of our best starters, I think, at the moment is Isle of White tomatoes with a cheese called Graceburn cheese, which is made in London. And it sounds such a simple dish, uh, but they're the very best tomatoes you can buy at this time of year. Uh, the Graceburn cheese just has this incredible flavor. And so he he's combines the best of flavors in a very simple way. Uh, and, and allows them to talk for themselves. Um, so yeah, he's a, he's a very, very unique chef. I wanted there to be lots of space. I, I wanted the room to be open. Uh, I wanted it to be comfortable for customers, but, but also comfortable for my team. I mean, this room, is, is it, when it's busy, it's a big, buzzy brasserie. It's, it's meant to be a little bit noisy. I like a bit of noise and atmosphere, but We've designed it so that there are also these corners so that you can, and this bonquette is, absorbs not, you know, you can be in your, here, you're in your own little couple, quite romantic, you've got a view, but you're looking out across a scene in our beautiful private dining room. And again, I wanted it to be private so that you have your own space, but we kept the window open because I think sometimes with private rooms, you don't even know you're in the restaurant. Also, I think our bar is good because you can sit at the bar and you can see the whole room again. And then we have the, the booth seating in front of the kitchen. I think they're great because they're quite cozy and you're right next to the kitchen. Um, and you can see all the food coming out. But you could come one night and sit here and you could come another night and sit at the bar and you're almost having almost visiting two different places. I mean, you're not, but, but they're two different experiences, and I, I, I like that. It's about my team and I, and the way that we hopefully look after people, um, which, which is meant to be just good old-fashioned hospitality. You, you know, you, you're coming to Sam's, which is really my home. Uh, we take your coat, we offer you a drink, we hopefully look after you, we make sure you're well-fed, Hopefully you leave smiling. I mean, the only difference is we give you a bill at the end of it. Um, but I, I do believe that going to a restaurant is about, is, is going to someone's home. Our, our little shop here is meant to be uh, like the, the perfect corner shop. It's got um, lots of little provisions. It's got wine, it's got fresh fruit. You can get some flowers, pies that Harvey and his team have made here, chicken pie, fish pie. So you, you can buy, oh, I don't have anything for dinner tonight. You can pop down. You, you could do your weekly shop there as well if you wanted. I think I'd always wanted to do a, a shop. I think lockdown made us think about it more seriously. You know, we're still uncertain of what's gonna happen this winter and could there be more lockdown? Sadly, who knows? But, but I, you know, if we have the shop, uh, we could run catering from there, we could do takeaways, deliveries. It's been great fun sourcing the best chocolates or the best olives or, you know, it's, 
it's a tough job. You've got to try all these things. Um, but it's just, it's, I think it's not, I think in business, it's very healthy to, um, to keep evolving. Listen, these are very difficult times, completely unprecedented. I mean, every day, businesses like mine are fighting for survival. And um, I, I'm, I'm still not certain that we'll survive the winter uh, because nobody quite knows what the winter is going to bring. Um, but I really believe that uh, local businesses, restaurants, shops, um, small businesses like mine, um, we, we're sort of, we have a relationship with a local community, but, but that relationship also works. And then we're able to support local suppliers. You know, we use a butchers in Barron's Court. Uh, we use local wine suppliers. We get fruit and ve veg from a charity in White City. Um, so I really believe, I mean, it's going to be a very hard autumn and winter. And, and I think we are kind of all in this together, that, you know, the community, the businesses, my staff, my suppliers, landlords, landlords have to help. Um, and, 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 and if we all sort of share together, then I think we've all got a, a better chance of surviving. If you've been to the restaurant to try or to the new shop, thank you. Uh, it, it means a great deal. Uh, if you haven't been, um, uh, we'd love you to come and try um, and I hope what's uh, nice about Sam's is our hospitality, the way we look after people, um, the fact that we can be the local restaurant if you want to pop down on a Tuesday night because you're just hungry and you, and you don't want to cook at home. But it's also somewhere you can come on a Saturday night to celebrate a birthday or an anniversary. Um, and, and to me, a local restaurant should be both of those. Um, so yeah, please come and come and give us a try.